Did you see what I saw today when I opened Luminar Neo? Skylum sneaked out a new update today with lots of great changes, things that we've all been asking for. So I'm really excited to show you what's new in update 1.8.0. I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and if you're ready, let's dig in. So this is what I saw when I opened Luminar Neo this morning. It's telling me that there is a new update. So when you launch Luminar Neo, if you don't see this message, you can get to the update from the menu here, check for updates, or by clicking on the Luminar Neo logo and check for updates. As you can see, there's lots of great stuff. So I'm going to install it and then I'll be right back to show you what's new. When you get to the screen that prompts you whether or not to back up your catalog or in the database for Luminar Neo, I recommend that you do that. I save mine on an external drive in a place where I put all of the backups by date. Once Luminar is reopened, you can see the changes. I'll run through them with you one by one. The first change is subtle, but it's a nice feature to have. You can now sort and filter by raw files only. So under show only in the catalog view, you can choose raw files and it will remove or hide any JPEGs that you have. You can also sort by file type, including raw files. Moving into the presets module, we'll see change number two. I'm going to choose a preset for this image. And in the last update, we had the ability to hover over the preset and see a preview. So that was a great change. Now they've added one more thing. If I choose one of these presets, for example, this one, and apply it, voila, now we have the amount slider. This was available previously in Luminar AI and something that people were looking to have in Luminar Neo as well. So here it is finally. So now you can choose a preset and dial the intensity down a little bit if you so choose. You'll also notice that down at the bottom here, you'll see the split view is available again. Also something that was in Luminar AI and a much awaited feature. Now you can do a slider to see the before and after, as well as on and off with the eyeball. So your choice how you see the preview. Moving into the edits panel, we'll see the next series of updates. The histogram is something that is really important to use when you're editing. And one of my pet peeves was that when you are in the edit tab, if you go back to change any of your previous edits, the histogram disappeared previously. Now it's added here as well. So this is great. I'm really happy to see this. Now when you go back to alter any of the edits that you've already done to your image, you can see the histogram here as well. So big thumbs up on this one from me. I mentioned the hover over feature that was added for presets in the last update. Now we've got some more. Another thing that I've been anxiously waiting for is previews for LUTs. So opening up the mood tool is where you'll find the LUTs. I like to dial the amount up higher so I can really see the effect. When you choose a LUT from the pull down menu and hover over, now you will see a preview of how that LUT is going to look on this image. Yay, I'm so excited for this one. I can't even tell you. It was really hard to guess what a LUT was going to look like based on the name only. So previously you had to click on it and apply it and go through them all one by one. Now it's much faster to just be able to hover and see the preview instantly. I'm so happy for this. But this is not the only one. There's more hover overs. Let's continue. For the next hover over, we have to go to develop raw. Keep in mind that this only applies to raw files because this is the only place you can find the camera profile. So now when you pull down this menu and you see the camera profiles, you also get a preview when you hover over. So you can quickly and easily find the profile that's right for your image. There's one more preview that I haven't showed you yet. 
Now, when you add a layer, you could preview the blend modes as well. That's really helpful if you want to do things such as add a texture overlay and so on. Let's apply one and see how it works. Here's a texture, there's the blend modes, and you could see the preview when I scroll over all the blend modes. Usually I use overlay or soft light for a texture like this. How easy is that? Let me just remove this one. Likewise, if you duplicate the layer, you can use blend modes as well. And this is a little trick that I use a lot is multiply blend mode, but dial the opacity down. And what that does is adds a bit of punch to your overall image. See the color and contrast is instantly enhanced. But you can also see what the other modes do. In addition to all of these new features, you'll also find some bug fixes, speed enhancement, and additional camera support for some new cameras added to Luminar in this update 1.8.0. If you enjoy my teaching style and want to learn more about Luminar Neo, check out Luminar Neo The Complete Course. If you'd like to watch another video here on YouTube, click here now. I'll be back soon with more tips and tutorials on photo editing. Until then, take care.